Okay, now, let's talk about hidden treasure. Oh, here's a discovery that turned the art world upside down. This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Bert Raccoon wakes up. friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoon. The evergreen forest is full of wonders. So when Melissa decided to photograph some of them for a special feature in the evergreen standard, Bert Raccoon suggested they start with the endless echo caverns. It's got to be around here somewhere. Who knows what we might find? There might be hidden treasure. Uh, there could be a race of uh, mole men. Lost civilizations. Secret cities. Bats. B -b bats Oh, well, <laughs> I guess it's not here. Whoops! Wah! <gasps> well, that was easy. I don't see any bats. Hey! <laughs> hey, this is great! Bat raccoon! It's me! Let's look down this way, Bert. I don't like this, Melissa. It's too creepy. Yay! Okay. This is far enough for me. Bert! Look! This is fantastic, Bert. Well, it looks to me like prehistoric cave painting. This could be thousands and thousands of years old. Then it'll still be here tomorrow. Let's get out of here, Melissa. This could be one of the greatest historical finds ever made. Hey, where's Brew? Brew! Brew! Come here, little fella. It's not safe wandering around by yourself. Come on, Brew. There's no... They look a lot like cave paintings I've seen in art history books. Don't go, Ralph. It's dark down there, and there's monsters in that cave. I have no intention of going until my booyah base is finished. As a matter of fact, don't even go outside. It, it may have followed us home. Oh, Bert, there are no monsters in that cave. If there was a monster, why didn't I see it? Because it was lurking. Uh. Pass me that bouquet garni, will you, Bert? Uh, this dish needs a soupçon more fennel. Then it will be mm -mm -mm, perfect. You know, I notice you start talking funny when you put on that chef's hat, Ralph. I really think we need the advice of an expert. No, I'm sure it needs more fennel. I'm talking about the cave paintings. Here, Bert, try this. It's my piece de resistance. <laughs> well? Huh. I know exactly what it needs. Perhaps a dash more freshly ground pepper? Nah, the best spice of all. Yes? Peanut butter. <laughs> Bert, you've ruined it. 
Well, it's just a matter of taste, Ralph. Professor Witherspoon Smedley Smythe from the museum is excited about our find. He's coming out to have a look at the paintings. I do so love cultural events. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we must attend more of them. Oh, they're so uh, enlightening. <laughs> enlightening? You porkers aren't getting any lighter. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. But, sir, you're broadening your social horizons. And you're broadening your waistlines. Yoo-hoo, uh, Mr. Snell. Oh, it's so nice to see you at this event. I didn't realize that you were an art lover. Lady baden Button, the only thing I love is money. Who's art? <laughs> oh, Mr. Snell, you are such a wit. <laughs> There's Lady Penelope Banyos. I do hope we'll see more of you at these functions, Mr. Sneer. Ta-ta. If there was any more of you at them, Lady, there wouldn't be room for anyone else. Well, Mr. Sneer, will you be bidding on any artworks this afternoon? I might. Then again, I might not. <laughs> well, I hope to add a few definitive works to my collection. Would you care to accompany me to the bidding, sir? Huh, certainly. Um, ladies and gentlemen, our next lot, number 32, an Henri de la Possum from his green period. Who will start? Ten thousand dollars. Are you nuts, Knox? I've seen bigger postage stamps. Fifteen thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars. Do I hear twenty-five thousand? Who'd be crazy enough to pay twenty-five thousand dollars for that? Why, his paintings just keep going up in value, Mr. Snail. They are a marvelous investment. Thirty thousand dollars. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Anyone else? In fact, Mr. Mammoth purchased that painting for $50 some time ago. Fifty? Fifty thousand dollars. Going? Going? Gone. Sold to that person with the bent nose. Congratulations, sir. An extremely cultured decision. Fifty thousand dollars! Huh! I've seen better pictures on a cereal box. I don't know, Pop. I think it brightens up the room. So does a light bulb. But, sir, now you're a patron of the arts. Respected by the masses! Who cares? Pop, this is an investment. In a while, you can sell the painting again for a big profit. After all, Pop, this painting has already increased in value by 1,000%. Now you're talking my language. I'll hire this Henry de la Possum to paint a few more. <laughs> Good idea, son. <laughs> Pigs, go find him. But, sir, the program says he disappeared five years ago. Hmm. Too bad. I'll have to think of something else. Cedric, my boy, how long will I have to keep this painting for maximum resale value? I'll go figure it out, Pop. It may have cost me $50,000, but I've learned that art is money. Pigs, go out and get me some masterpieces. Cheap. You've got 24 hours. Capiche? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, capiche, capiche. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. The secret of great art. Buy cheap and sell expensive. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? Exciting. Now we'll find out just how ancient and important these cave paintings are. I must say, I certainly have high hopes for them, young lady. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better if I stayed out here? I could sort of uh, <laughs> guard the entrance. You're not still afraid of imaginary monsters, are you? No, not imaginary ones. Oh, Bert, come on, we need you. You know, this reminds me of the time we opened the tomb of Emperor Ratatouille. 
Holy damn, what a day that was. I'll bet. We looked high and low. Oh, every gallery and every artist's garret. You wouldn't think it'd be so hard to find cheap masterpieces. Wait! I've got an idea! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, Lloyd! You were right! It is a fabulous view! Inspirational! Here I go again, falling out of line, falling into someone new. Here I go again, getting out of line, getting so much to lose. Existential statement. I thought it was a tree. I just can't believe it's here in the evergreen forest. Actually, it's one of the most extraordinary examples I've ever seen. Good heavens, it's spectacular, Melissa. Oh, oh, oh. oh simply spectacular. Of course, we won't know how old they are until I analyze these scrapings I took, you see. If, if the tests are positive, why, these could well be the most valuable paintings ever discovered. Paintings! Valuable! And they're on the boss's land, too. Oh, goody! Let's tell the boss! If we don't get a raise out of this, we never will. <sighs> Safe and famous, Bert Raccoon, discoverer of the endless Echo Cave paintings. Yeah. Well, 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 we'll see, but uh, hmm, strange there. You know, there's something about them. Oh, it'll come to me, I'm sure. Yes, yes. I'll take these samples straight to the museum. Straight. Yes, we should have the results very soon. Come on, bro! This better be good. Now that's what I call a painting. What a discovery! And I went and wasted $50,000 on a Henry de la Posa the size of a pig's brain. Forget the small stuff. The bigger the better. That's what I say. I can't sell this, so the suckers will have to come here. I'll charge admission. This will be the greatest tourist attraction ever. Start taking notes. Measure this for a turnstile. I want the lunch counter there. Ticket booth here. The souvenir stand right here. And check the back of this cave. Make sure there's no way to sneak in. Everybody pays to see my cave paintings. Oh, yes, they do. And do they ever pay? <laughs> the boss sure is happy. We're sure to get a raise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 a raise. Oh. And nobody can look at it for more than a minute. I don't want to wear it out. They're mine, Quit yelling, you chicken pigs. There's no such thing as monsters. Now take this down to the evergreen standard. I want it in tomorrow's edition. Yes, sir. Stop the presses! I've always wanted to say that. This is for the next edition, or soon. Press conference. Endless Echo Caverns to be renamed Sneer Caverns. Important art find affecting all residents of the Evergreen Forest. Tomorrow, be there. Signed Cyril Sneer, patron of the arts. Wow, I never thought Pop would get into art this deep. How did Cyril find out about the cave paintings? Superior intelligence. Oh, really? So what's he planning now? Only the greatest tourist attraction since the beach. He'll make millions charging admission to the caves. And soon, a 2,000-room hotel.
hotel, a theme park, bowling alleys, parking lots. But he can't do that. A treasure like this belongs to everyone. Wrong. It belongs to Cyril Sneer. It's on his land. <laughs> <laughs> Get this, raccoons. Next time you want to look at my paintings, bring five bucks. <laughs> oh, I say, what's going on here, Melissa? Cyril Sneer is about to announce the opening, or should I say closing, of the caves to the public, unless they pay. Oh, but uh, why should he do that? He owns the land. Oh. Well, then he'll be interested in the test results, yes, yes, yes. Mr. Sneer, I'm from the museum, you see. Great. Yeah. Come on up here and join me on the stage. Yeah, thank you. Makes it more official. Yeah. You can cut the ribbon. But, uh, you see, what I want to tell you will only take a moment. Yes, yes, it's, it's about the... And now, ladies and gentlemen, Cyril Sneer. Patron of the Arts! <clears throat> Testing! I, Zero Sneer, am pleased to announce the discovery of the Sneer Cavern paintings. The most amazing thing about these paintings is their age. How old are they anyway, Professor? 100? 200,000 years? Oh, oh good heavens, no. Uh, uh, two years. Two years? You told me these were priceless prehistoric paintings. They're worthless. I'm going to look like a fool. I couldn't even give them away. That's it, sir. Give them away. Well, yes, sir. That's what a real patron of the arts would do. Think of the publicity. Ahem, ahem. As I was saying, I am pleased to hand over these magnificent caverns and the paintings they're in, worthless as they are, to the residents of the Evergreen Forest. May they long enjoy these fine examples of art, courtesy of Cyril Sneer, patron of the arts. Way to go, Pop! That's my pump. No more pictures, boys. I'll release a statement later. Listen, Sneer. You ain't never gonna get rich giving away paintings. Money isn't everything, Knox. <gasps> I'm a socially acceptable philanthropist now, and it didn't cost me anything. Don't think oh. you're off the hook yet. There's still a little matter of the masterpieces I told you to get. Where are they? They're drying now, sir. So the paintings are worthless? Oh. Heavens, no! No work of art is worthless. And you know, there's something about them. Well, if they're not prehistoric, who did them? Hey, Brew, where you going? Come back here. Brew? Brew! Come on, Cedric. He might need our help. Now, where have I seen paintings like that before? I know I have. Which way did he go? Brew! <laughs> Brew, come back! There's monsters! Brew! <laughs> My little buddy, it's got him! I gotta save him! Brew! Cedric, that was the, 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 the monster! I am no monster. I am Henri de la Possum, artist extraordinaire. And by the way, a genius. <coughs> oh, and my dog, Rubens. So that's what you were smelling, Brew? 
Another dog. Oh, Riddle a possum. But I read that you disappeared five years ago. Of course I did. The artist cannot create in the hubbub. Here I have privacy. And <laughs> a monster to make sure of it. A good joke, no? <laughs> no. What are you doing here, anyway? My masterpiece. I just finished it. Come and see. It's beautiful. Magnificent. Oh, amazing. But of course. But now my masterpiece is done. Rubens and I must move on. I have another little project in mind. <laughs> Sculpting a remote mountain. <laughs> Enjoy it, my friends. Perhaps we will meet again. Oh boy, oh boy, Melissa, have we got a story or have we got a story? Well, my good son, at least I've got one great work of art. Yeah, Pop, but it's nowhere as good as his cave paintings. Cave paintings? In the caverns, the ones he gave away. It's covered in Henri de la Possums. He's been painting there for five years. I met him. It's all right here. You should come and see it, Pop. It's free, thanks to you. They're dry now, sir. We really outdid ourselves this time. Henri de la Possum has nothing on us, sir. We've been framed. It's not fair! <laughs> Cyril, a patron of the arts. Uh, probably more like a patron of the farts. <laughs> 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 <laughs>